and come with me to Chitnaveswara, a beautiful heritage house in Nagpur. Let's begin with the outside. As you enter this building, you see a lot of colonial construction all around you. Well, it is not the real Wada, but this is an extension where they hosted their colonial guests. We enter the Wada and we see this beautiful building in wood with beautifully carved pillars, double storied with wood all around. But this is still not the best part. This is a three chalk Wada, which means it has three courtyards and each courtyard has a very, very different character. So let us get in and see the most beautiful part of this Vada, which is this Deoghar Chok. This is the place where they would worship. This is the place where a lot of guests would come. This is kind of a public and a private space. Now, this family, which owned this Vada, was a Krishna Bhakt. So, you see the stories of Krishna painted all around on the walls. There are lithographs of Raja Ravi Verma. There are scenes from Mahabharat. And there are paintings depicting the Leelas of Sri Krishna all around. The paintings have been very well maintained. And the courtyard all around it is actually still in mud. In the northeast corner of this chalk is the personal temple of the family. It is made in a typical Rajasthani style uh, in wood and inside is the deity and a lot of other ritual material. They, uh, I'm thankful to them to allow me to take pictures and photographs of this. But look at the wooden carvings. Look at how well it is preserved. And have another look at the painted walls and the mud flooring. Do not miss the Belgian glasses on top. Various episodes from the life of Krishna can be seen all around. It is like being soaked in the Krishna Bhakti. Look at the nice carving. Now let's step into the inner courtyard, which will be used by the family. So this is far more simpler, far more plainer, no paintings, uh, just some frames and a fountain in between. It is still a mud flooring all around. Imagine the women of the house sitting by this fountain and chatting uh, or discussing whatever needs to be cooked for the day. This is a place where elders would sit and tell stories. This is a place where everybody would come and meet and chat and maybe eat. Now let's enter the third chalk, which is the kitchen area. The place is still given out for functions, so you see lot of material lying around. These are the palkis that will be used for uh, th for festivals, the kitchen utensils Abhi like chakki and you know holes to uh, be used as mortar, a well, a tulsi plant, uh, a hand pump in the background you can see. The living areas are rather plain, simple but still made in wood. This is the family temple, a huge temple outside the Vada, uh, dedicated to Murlidhar, another name of Sri Krishna. Uh, this is the temple where I guess uh, both outsiders would be allowed as well as family would worship. And you can see the little bit of glass up there and uh, a murti of Sri Krishna as Murlidhar inside. Outside there is a there are uh, there is a temple dedicated to Hanumanji and Garuda, the Vahan of Vishnu. This is the top view of the Vada. Typical slanted roofs in red tiles, 
and this is how it, it looks at night. It was a beautiful uh, visit to this heritage property of Nagpur. Do visit it whenever you are in the city and don't forget to follow and subscribe in details. Namaste.